All right, so you've had a chance to look over my shoulder and see how I vet a few products on Amazon using the different tools and the different criteria. Hopefully you've had a chance to look for some items yourself. Put them in uh, Viral Launch, perhaps use Jungle Scout to keep track of them, whichever tool you ultimately chose. Hopefully you found a few that have some potential. But now there's one other area we wanna think about when it comes to picking our first products. And that is what we're talking about here, brand potential. Because we are building a foundation for the future, right? Our ideal is to build a brand with multiple products underneath it that we can eventually sell off of Amazon and one day even sell that brand for a large amount. On the other hand, we probably wouldn't wanna be building a storefront that has a bunch of random items. That's not the ideal, and that's not the whole idea of private labeling. Now, with this goal in mind of picking items with brand potential, let's talk a little bit more about this subject. Now, first off, products with brand potential are not always the most profitable product. Now, let me ask you this question. Which is better? Product A, 40% profit margins, no brand potential, or product B, 28% margins, but with brand potential. Now thinking of what we're talking about on this subject, and the point, the first point, not always the most profitable product, which do you think is better for your initial products? Let's find out the answer. It depends. You may be wondering right now, wait a minute. You just told me that brand potential is our ideal. That's what we should be looking for, even if it's less profit. Why would it depend? Well, what are the benefits of a higher margin item with no brand potential? Well, does the following sound like you? Number one, I just need to see this private label model work. I mean, I'm taking this course, I'm not too confident, not sure, but I just need to see something work. And then after I see it work, I have no problem going after a bunch more products. Is that what you feel like or sound like? What about option two? I've been searching for weeks and can only find one-off items. Perhaps you've been really going through product discovery through Amazon itself, perhaps even using Jungle Scout if you chose to use that tool, and it just feels like it is impossible to find brand potential items. I can just find these one-off items. Or how about number three? This looks like an easy win and a golden opportunity. So have you found some products like that? They don't really have brand potential, but man, they look like an easy win and a golden opportunity. Well, if you fit any of these three, going after a product that hires higher margin, but with no brown brand potential could be the right choice for you. For the person who feels like option A, I just need to see this private label model work, going after one product that doesn't have brand potential is not gonna set you back years. In fact, it may jump you ahead because you get just the fire you needed and perhaps the capital or money coming in from that one initial private label product with the higher margins to set you up to go after other products, perhaps with brand potential. And if you're number two, I've been searching for weeks and can only find one-off items. Well, paralysis by analysis. That is not what we want. We want you in the game getting experience in learning the private label business model firsthand. So a higher profit margin item with no brand potential may be the right decision for you. And if you're number three again, this looks like an easy win and a golden opportunity. You know what, you may find an item that although it doesn't have brand opportunity or brand potential, it is a straight cash cow that you can have as a consistent seller all the time. And if you find a product like this, there is no reason for you not to go after it. But now, what about the other hand? What are the benefits of a lower margin item with brand potential? A, long-term viewpoint, right? This is what we're ultimately trying to do. Maybe we're sacrificing a little bit now on profit margins compared to random items that have higher profit margins that look like gold nuggets. But in the long-term view of things, we are building a large brand. How about B? You have the opportunity to cross sell and upsell. Let's say I sold a chalkboard and then all of a sudden I saw this new toy that was having killer margins. But with that same money, I could order a listing that has erasers and another listing that would have chalk. And then I cross sell and upsell all of them together. 
the chalkboard, the chalk, and the erasers. You see how much easier it is to start selling new items and really growing your brand? C, more real estate in search results. The more products you release in a specific niche under the same brand, the bigger your brand looks. When someone types in a certain keyword search term and you show up three times on the front page, it really creates in their mind that you are a large brand and a successful one. And D, there is a much larger demand if you decide to sell. Imagine a person trying to sell an eBay store with random goods here and there, or perhaps an eBay store that has an, a brand that has been built up potentially with a social media account, a Facebook page, and with raving fans. The people who come after one-off products, those are not gonna be return customers for you. They're not gonna come back to your store and bookmark you, no. But if you have been building a brand with multiple products, people will come back to your store. They'll bookmark your seller ID on Amazon. And also, that is what people are looking for when you go to sell your brand not individual products, the real money is having a brand to sell. So, in conclusion, when you look at your products, especially your initial ones, look to see, do they have brand potential? And if they don't have brand potential, that doesn't mean they're a no-go, especially at your first couple items. Like I said, it depends. It's ultimately gonna be up to you and what you feel you need and what's gonna make you the biggest success going forward.